What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have something very important to discuss both for those of you interested in downgrades and upgrades on iOS but also for those of you interested in jailbreaking. This video is brought to you by any unlock a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass NBM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So if you're interested in jailbreaking and downgrading which sometimes go hand in hand then this video is very important for you especially if you have a newer device. But first I have updated my SEP and basement compatibility chart. This this is basically the chart that tells you whether you can perform a downgrade or not because if SEP and Basement are not compatible then the downgrade will not be able to proceed. So if you're trying to go from a version to another for jailbreak purposes for example because otherwise why would you want to downgrade or upgrade other than jailbreaking then it's important to know if the SEP and Basement are compatible and you're going to see that a lot has changed since the last update. So as you can see the SEP and Basement compatibility with iOS 16.3.1 currently being the latest version at the moment with 16.4 currently in beta has the following SEP compatibility. You can downgrade possibly to 16.3 and it might be possible to use the dev branch of Future Restore. I'm gonna get into Future Restore too because it's a mess in there but as you can see downgrades are now no longer possible below maybe the second to last version and stuff like that. For example from 16.3.1 to 16.3 might be possible but not lower. And that is because of a new component called Cryptex, more commonly known as Cryptex 1. And I have detailed what Cryptex 1 is on Apple devices in here here, but there is also a very good write-up by Cryptic, one of the future restore developers available in here. It's also linked on our website if you click in here so you can read more about what happens. But to keep it short, Apple basically added a brand new component to the firmware starting with iOS 16 and unfortunately that component is almost never compatible from one version to another. So that hinders downgrading very very much. It is possible to still downgrade from one version to another if they are very close to one another but that's about it. For older devices you might still be able to downgrade for example for iPhone 7, for iPhone 7 Plus, 6S, SE, those can still use the SEP and Basement and downgrade. Now Future Restore is actually very important to keep in mind because if you use the Future Restore from here from the releases tab you will probably break something. As you can see in here it does say warning this is deprecated and uh, this may bootloop your device because right now it shows like it's actually the latest version but it's not. This one was published back on 2021 so it's old as all hell. Now where do you get the proper version? of Future Restore? Well from here nightly.link. It's this one over here and apparently this is what you need to get. There apparently is no compiled version for Windows though so you may have to compile it yourself from the GitHub repo over here which may or may not be easy for you but uh, there is a build.sh in here so you may run that. There are a ton of dependencies over here but the instructions are pretty clear what you need to run and stuff like that. Once you have the proper setup configured you will be able to compile it. But if you want to get a pre-compiled version for macOS or Linux make sure you get one from the nightly link over here because if you get the one from the releases tab over here this will very likely break something so it's probably a bad idea. Now with this changes with Cryptex 1 if you still want to downgrade if you still want to try anything then you will definitely need the dev branch or the nightly branch of the future restore. Any of the stable ones will fail completely because they don't even know what the new Cryptex component is. Even a non-downgrade even a proper restore like to a signed version will probably fail with those because they don't know what the cryptex component is they don't know how to restore it so yeah that's a very important thing to keep in mind i have updated the sep and basement compatibility but for downgrading and implicitly for jailbreaking on older versions and stuff like that that's no longer enough now even if sep and basement are somehow compatible the cryptex component will probably not be compatible which means we need to figure out a way to basically persist non seeds across multiple reboots otherwise we will not be able to use this we will not be able to downgrade anymore at least on the newer devices and by newer i kind of mean basically anything newer than iPhone 7 so that's a lot of devices that cannot downgrade anymore so if you're trying to downgrade for jailbreak purposes or otherwise it's not currently possible on the newer devices even with a kernel exploit even with a SEP and basement that is compatible Cryptex will still get in the way and unfortunately at the moment that is not fixed they are definitely looking into it they are definitely trying to fix it but at the moment it's not fixed so do not try to downgrade because you probably will bootloop your device at the moment we'll keep you updated thank you for watching I'm Gio Snow and till the next time peace out